grandchildren do you have? Four now. Rachel has two and my sons have one each. They're puppets. I bet you're a wonderful granny. I like it more than being a mother, actually. <laughs> I enjoy the feeling of handing them back. <laughs> we haven't seen them since the disaster, of course. They weren't affected, I hope. Well, we're all affected. No, but they weren't in the area, or... I know it's a terrible thought. I well, know. yes, actually, Rachel's lot was supposed to be visiting, only by the time they got up here, they closed the roads. So you were at home when it... Yes, yes, I was. Making banana bread for the children. And because it was the eggs, they started shaking in the box. It sounds stupid, but I thought, they're hatching. Something's going to come out of them like a... Like a... a Chicken. No, a, a gremlin. But then, because that's when I realised the whole kitchen was shaking. And the plates started falling, and the lights went out, and the ground was sort of rolling. And I thought, this must be what it's like on a ship in a storm. And then I thought, what are you doing, you stupid woman? Get out, just get out. So I did, I just ran outside in my apron and I saw the road crack down the middle. And then, then it just stopped. God, you must have been. Yes, yeah, so then I wanted to call Robin. So I walked, I ran down to the beach because the reception and that's when I saw the tide had gone out. I mean, it wasn't miles, but it looked like miles. And then I saw the wave. Only it didn't look like a wave. It looked like the sea was boiling milk. And it just kept boiling, boiling and boiling. And then everyone was running, so I ran too. I'm so sorry, did you say you wanted tea? Lovely, thanks.